going to help you out with the labelings of the Aurica. So this is the uh, grass fix and we're going to label it. I have put on numbers on this diagram so it is helpful for you. Okay, over here, this part, starting with one, this part is known as tragus. Most of us know about it. But there's another part that, that is number two of the same, it looks like the same thing, but this is known as anti -tragus. This is tragus, this is anti -tragus. Over here, this is the conch of the auricle. Moving forward to four. This convexity, fourth, is the intertragic notch. This is the intertragic notch. Over here, the fifth part. The fifth part is the lobule of the auricle. The sixth part is the uh, auricular tubercle. The auricular tubercle of Darwin. Over here, the seventh part is known as the helix, while the eighth part, which is a continuity of the helix, is the crux of helix. Ninth part is the anti-helix. The tenth is the crura of anti-helix. The eleventh is the scaphoid fossa. This is the scaphoid fossa. And this twelfth over here is the triangular fossa of the article. This part is triangular fossa of the article. I'll repeat. One is the tragus, the two is the anti tragus, three is the conca of the auricle, fourth is the intertragic notch, fifth is the lobule of the auricle, sixth is the anti auricular tubercle of Darwin, seventh is the helix, eighth is the crux of helix, ninth is the anti helix, tenth is the crura of helix, and a crura of anti helix, and eleventh is the scaphoid fossa. And 12th is the triangular fossa. That's it for this diagram. This is the second model of the ear, and this has only two labelings. As we can see, one and two. The first one is quite obvious. This is the uh, external acoustic meatus, and while the second one is the temporalis muscle. That is it for this diagram. This is another model that we have. And it has six labelings. The first labeling is this part. This is the internal carotid artery as it can be seen from this model. Uh, the second is the the second part is this part that is the tensor tympani muscle. This one is the tensor tympani muscle. The third over here is a tensor villi palatini. This part. The fourth over here is the pharyngeal pharyngeo tympanic tube this over here is the pharyngeo tympanic tube while the fifth is the cartilaginous part of the pharyngeo tympanic tube cartilaginous part of the pharyngeo tympanic tube this is the pharyngeo tympanic tube this is the tensor tympanic tensor tympa, tensor tympani muscle and this is the tensor villi palatini and this one was the internal carotid artery. What is this part? This is the tympanic membrane. So this is the last diagram for the ear and as you can see this part is the first part. It has 13 labelings on the total and this is the first labeling that is one. It has tympanic, this is called tympanic membrane. It is also called pars tensa. This is the tympanic membrane. This part that is two is called the malleus. It's a bone known as uh, malleus. The three is the incus. The fourth is the uh, lenticular process of the incus. And the fifth one after it over here is the stapes. Or we also call people also call this the piece. So five are the five first labelings are um, this one is the tympanic membrane, malleus, incus, lenticular process of the incus, stipes. This is the sixth one.
The sixth one is coming from there and it is known as facial nerve. This is the facial nerve and this is the vestibulocochlear nerve. The two nerves that will be coming through the uh, to this area and this, uh, those are the facial nerve and the vestibulocochlear nerve. The eighth is the cochlea. The vestibulocochlear nerve is coming to the cochlea. This is is attached to the cochlea indeed. So eighth is the cochlea, ninth is the vestibule, tenth is the ampulla, eleventh is the anterior semicircular canal. The twelfth is this one over here this whole part it is the posterior semicircular canal and the thirteenth one over here is the uh, the thirteenth one is the lateral semicircular canal I, I'll repeat the ones from here all the labelings so it's easier for you this is a tympanic membrane this part is malleus this is incus, this is the lenticular process of the incus, this is the stipes. This is the facial nerve, this is the vestibulocochlear nerve, and this is the cochlea. The cochlea, from the cochlea the information will travel, the stimulus will travel to the vestibulocochlear nerve. Okay, so this part, the ninth part, is the vestibule, the ampulla, the vestibule, the ampulla, the anterior semicircular canal, this is the posterior semicircular canal, this hole, this is the lateral semicircular canal. That is it for this diagram.